All right, welcome back to a special edition of Study Ball. And this Study Ball is designed for all the coaches out there specifically. Obviously, quarterbacks can learn from this as well and understand uh, what I'm talking about here and how to make an adjustment to help you on this particular concept. So a concept I call 72, meaning a corner and some sort of a slant underneath it. It is taking the league by storm. I understand why people like the concept. I understand what it's good for, uh, you know, and where it can be a really big play for your offense. But it has limitations, and I see so many teams that are trying to throw this concept against a particular coverage, which I don't think it's very good at. And we're hoping that the defense screws it up, in it, in, and that's what allows it to be successful. Because in design, it's not 100% foolproof against cover two, which what a lot of teams are, are reading it again. So I'm going to give you uh, something that, that we did when I was playing, an adjustment that we did on this particular play to allow the play to be successful. Get what you want, uh, you know, when you design this play, get what you want against man coverage, but also make it effective against zone coverage. So let's go to the film and take a look. So this is based off of an interception that I saw in week one. And again, I only took one example of this play. I could do it a million times, but, uh, but I just want to show what it is. So it's, it's this corner route. So that's what we call a seven route. And then they run this sort of slant or what we call an under, and that's a two. So we talk it inside out. So it's a 72 combination. And it's really designed for man coverage. I get that, okay? We get man to man. What we're trying to do is we're trying to use this guy to clear out the underneath defender. So now we get an easy throw to this corner in man-to-man, -man, running away from a guy that's usually inside leverage. I understand it's great against man. If you're going to call this against man coverage every time, I have no problem with this particular play. But the problem is, is that, okay, we've got a concept down here, which most teams end up doing on this particular play, is they have a concept down here that's good against uh, any kind of corner off or, or non-rolled coverage. And they try to use this for any rolled coverage over there. So they get stuck that this isn't against man all the time. Sometimes we get stuck throwing this against cover two. And for some reason people must like this against cover two because a bunch of quarterbacks in the league are reading it against cover two. So against cover two, we're hoping that this guy out here screws up. That's what we're hoping in cover two. We're hoping that he engages our outside receiver and he chases our outside receiver. So we get the same sort of thing here against leverage and we've got a great window to throw this corner. Okay, Joe Burrow threw an interception on this play. And the reason he threw an interception is because he's coming out and he's reading the corner. Okay, and the corner engages for a second and then the corner falls off. Okay, and as the corner falls off, he knows he's in a bind now. Now, probably could have thrown this, but that's because this guy's out of position. So again, we're hoping the defense screws it up. Okay, they screw it up in one facet here, so we could have thrown it. But if these guys do what they're supposed to, and this guy stays sitting in his zone, he picks this up. And then we have to throw it out here, where this guy's falling into that area with a safety over the top, and we're putting ourselves in a bind. So that's what happened here, is Joe feels that corner start to fall off, he knows he shouldn't have any options inside. So now he's trying to jam this throw in here and beat that corner with the throw because I don't want to give him a chance to intercept it. And by driving it in there, he throws it too far to the inside. And now it gets picked by Minka Fitzpatrick and it turns into a pick six. All right. So that's what happens. That's what it looks like. This is what happens quite often because if they don't screw it up, they're in great position to cover it and the quarterbacks put in a bind. So... This really is a concept that comes off of two other concepts, in my opinion, okay? So if we're running this under, the proper way to run this would be to push this guy up and bring him back to the inside, okay? So why are we doing that? Because if we get cover two, which is what we really like this against, now we can isolate this guy with a high low off of those two, defend, or those two receivers, and we're golden, okay? So that's one of the concepts it's off of. The other concept, it's off of the old smash concept. So it's here, 
I'm going to push up and I'm going to run a hitch right there. So if I run that and we have it against cover two, now I high low this guy over there. Okay, so now we push up and we go over here and we hook here and now this guy is in that high low bind and we get a chance. So in this particular case, if we did that and this corner wants to engage and then go back, we would have our hitch sitting right there and we could recover right back down to the hitch. So we're trying to get the best of both worlds with this concept. So what we used to do on this concept is we would run our under combination. So it would be the in and the under. Okay, so we have that against any zone too high shell where we know we're going to have one defender here. We've got a high low advantage right there. But Kurt, it's not the best situation, right? If we do that and this guy's playing inside leverage man and he's going to take that away. And then this guy playing inside leverage man and he's going to take that away. So we don't really have anything. And that's why we put the corner on this. I get it. So what we used to do on this is we gave this guy the ability to adjust. So what would we teach him? We would teach him that if you get to your depth, okay, so you get to that 10 or that 12 to 14 yard depth, 12 roll to 14, you get to that 12 yard depth and you are being carried. So you have a defender on the inside number of you carrying you to that depth, you have the ability to break out. Okay, so it didn't matter if it was zone or man. If this defender in zone was carrying you to 12 yards and you broke out, we should be throwing this anyways. If this guy's carrying you to 12 yards and we got man, great. Now we've got the best of both worlds. We got the breakout on the corner and we had it as a flat corner to keep this safety out of the mix. We didn't have to take it high because we were no longer worried about this guy falling back there because, why, right? Because if the inside guy carried, I don't care if that guy fell back, I'm throwing it here unless he's chasing him man and then he's not there at all. So that was the adjustment that we used, okay? We ran under with the possible adjustment if carried and then we went high low here, okay? That was one thing that we did. The other thing that we did is we at times would run this smash concept with the hitch and we would allow this guy now to be the runaway guy. So he would push up, he would run his hitch, and as long as somebody uh, was matched to him, he would run his hitch. If that guy matched to him, he would sit there for a second, two seconds, and then he had the ability to run away. Okay, he had the ability to run away. So if we ran this and the corner matched to the hitch right now, we just didn't take off and allow him to, to go free. We would sit there, 1,001, 1,002. If he was still on us, now we could run away from him. If we went 1,001, 1,002, and he started to fall back into the corner, now we stayed right there and we could, you know, we could throw back to the hitch because the corner fell off and we wouldn't bring ourselves into the extra defender there if they were running a cover two zone. So a couple different adjustments there. I like the first one better because it gives you, uh, to me, a better concept against a normal too high shell. I loved reading that concept. It was easy, it was coming inside. But adjustments on both of these that allow you the runaway option for man. There, allow you the runaway option for man. So now, in essence, we're getting that exact same 72 combination on both of these plays but we're also making these plays really, really good against the zone coverages in which we would have to read to that particular side. Okay, so that was just wearing on me. I've seen it in the NFL so many times. And yes, I've seen it work at times when the defense screws it up and we're all jumping up and down and we're all happy and we're gonna throw it again. But I've seen it you know, mess quarterbacks up just as many times as I've seen it be successful, if not more. So to me, it's not a good play if we're going 50-50 or less in terms of success against a particular coverage. So we need to make an adjustment. So there's two adjustments for all you coaches out there, all you quarterbacks out there that have been caught with that particular concept against cover two, and you've been left in a bad spot or you've thrown an interception. Hey, coach, can we make these small little adjustments on one of these two plays to give me an advantage against zone and to also give me that exact same advantage against man-to-man -man coverage.